Now I've got work to do. Okay, well, here's the long-awaited Ice Castle video, the brand new one. We've been so swamped with trips. This is my first day off, or our first day off in, oh boy, I don't know what are we at here. This is January 9th. It's, it's been a, almost like a good solid two and a half weeks of go, 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 which is great. Um, believe it or not, this is probably the first day I've gotten to fish out of it in a morning yet, so... Um, we're gonna take it, but uh, we have been catching some fish in the night, which I'll probably just clip into this video because um, I don't really know how else to do that. Um, so we'll just probably throw those clips into this video um, at the end of it. Um, I'll just mention that, and then we're also after this video is done, that'll be it, and then we're gonna do the giveaway by January 15th. So we got lots coming. We got lots to do. It's I've been up since six o'clock. It is 7:57, and I'm finally ready to film. With getting lights, a screen recording on from the live scope. Um, I'll show you guys quickly here our setup in the. But so yeah, so you can see. There is our live scope on the big TV. Our live scope over there on the couch. Our Strike Master batteries, our charging cables, our charging deal. Our light, if we need it. We better put this on for some ambiance. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, um, you're going to see a lot more of these in our videos because, well, let me come back here to you. So a couple things have happened since uh, last time we've been been out. Um, I gotta thank Rob and uh, Blake at Holiday RV um, in Steinbach. They hooked us up with this GPS map, which has made our life so much easier in the Ice Castle. Being able to cast the, uh, the, the being able to cast the Garmin onto a TV. Or multiple screens so now we have three big screens in the in the ice castle for you guys when you guys come in here um, and our, our guests are absolutely loving it being able to watch we just had a group of college guys come from a guy from Winnipeg and his two college buddies from Ontario and they came and they sat in here and they were just marking fish non-stop and they couldn't believe it they only caught like 25 30 fish but the one guy caught his biggest fish ever at 28 and a half inches um, and that's what it's all about for us. Like, I mean, the time is I just got my truck lifted and new tires. So we got 35 inch tires on her and we got a three inch, three inch lift in it. So thanks to my buddy Keith for that. And uh, thanks to Austin and his father Marvin at Trailwood Enterprises in Inwood. Yeah, um, thanks to those guys. Also, the bigger, the best news out of everything here. Um, I've been in talks with Mark from Rapala and um for a long time and uh last year we were gonna do it but it just didn't seem to line up really well with us um this year um as i i, I fished a couple uh tournaments with peter weedman and peter weedman's been a rapala pro for i don't know 30 years i think like 28 or 30 years um maybe even more than that. i'm sorry if i'm short in your pd but the guy is an encyclopedia. I learned so much. I've fished with a few tournaments with him now, and I've learned so much from PD. It's not even funny. Not to mention he's the, one of the nicest guys. He'll give you the shirt off his back. Um, so anyways, um, I guess PD had a talk with Mark at the ice fishing show with him when they were working there, and, um, you know, they were just, I guess, reiterating if it was a good move and stuff, and that is the new deal so we are now with Rapala we are with 13 fishing we are with strike master and we are with suffix so that is super fun that's super exciting I am 
excited to get some of their 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 stuff in their products their baits um, try out some of their rods as well um, as you know we're with frostbite as well um, and the cool thing is I mentioned that to Mark and he didn't really give me the old you have to be exclusive thing because that's the only thing with me is I like to work, use the stuff that works and I'm I'll never be a guy that is just going to drop a product that I like just because somebody's going to give me something for free and I'm going to use something that I can promote and make my business better and and I feel like that can make anybody else a better fisherman. So that's really what I want to do. I don't want to shove stuff down your guys' throats. I just want to say, hey, this is like right here. I'm using the deadbolt from Frostbite, my new favorite rod. Um, so it's, I don't know. We, we go through so many guests that come up here. Um, and we supply them all rods and reels and, and everything. And they just, they appreciate it so much. And then at the end of the day, they go home and they purchase these products, right? They, they, you know, nine times out of 10 guys are coming up here with 28 inch rods that are broomsticks or else medium lights, like real, real lights. And I hand them stuff like this, like a medium heavy 39 inch rod that, you know, has the, we've gone over this, the throb in it like that. And they catch a couple big fish on it. And then they see, and we sit there and explain to them why it's such a big deal. And just to be able to set the hook, bury it in their mouth, and then still have the capability to not force that fish up that hole and let it just do this. Your rod will do the work, and if you can hear that drag, I mean, on that Vanford, that is so smooth. So, I mean, that's all I'm about. I, uh... So we do have a dead stick set up just to the right of us, which is kind of out of frame, but we'll get it with the GoPro if it happens. But if you see me looking up that way, I mean, I'm looking at the big screen for the live scope. Oh, we got a fish. Yep, I think. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Oh, he missed it. Come on now. Turn around. Turn around. Find it. Find it. No way. No way. Oh, he's come back. Here he comes. Yeah, like that. What is he doing? <laughs> He's circling around. He's going to come up now. There we go. There we go. Nice. That's what we like to see. Good start to the day. Nothing giant, but the good thing about that is that fish was super aggressive. Like, overly aggressive. Like, I'd say like a 19, 20 inch. Maybe not, 17, 18, I don't know. But there we go. First fish in the castle on camera well realistically I don't know we've got a couple big ones on camera but not actually hooking into them so perfect we're gonna let that one go we're not gonna keep any fish today oh. ouch <laughs> interrupt us so I got a little interrupted there which is okay we'll take that every day but here's our you know what we're using we're using that wonder bread wing ding medium size wrapped with a salty we are going to try to put down a rattle bait just to see if we can make some noise. And of course, as soon as I do that, there's a fish coming suspended. 
So I can't show you because he's coming in hot. Where are you? Right around there. Oh yeah, he likes that. Oh, he likes that. As soon as I drop this rattle bait. Wow, and he crushed it. All right, we love that. That was so cool. I'm glad we... I'm so used to not having the flasher cam. Or the... But now that we can record, screen record, um, yeah, I mean, that was... About as instant result as you can get. We just switched from the wing ding just to, I mean, I think he would have ate the wing ding either way, but we switched to the, the old sexy shad there. Sexy, sexy from ECB again. This is a nicer fish, this one. Just a pretty specimen. They're so nice and green, I love them. As much as I hate them. See you later, old girl. Okay, well, I guess that's results. It's pretty cool. Rattle bait. I didn't get it on the main camera because it died. But it's big. Oh man. Why did the main camera die? If you guys watched Justin's video on the river, he lost the fish because his lip grips let go. These lip grips have that metal in there and they lock and you cannot lose that fish. But this is a big fish. There we go. Whoa, easy old girl. Try again. Nice and perky dorsal. Give you one more look as we're in the ice castle. So we've got more than enough ample time for this big fish. I would say heavy, just a chunk. So let's get her back. There you go, old girl. Cool. Okay, so we're in the Ice Castle. Um, you're going to see a lot of these kind of videos from me this year, being in the Ice Castle. It is 11 o'clock on the button on January 1st. I'm here by myself. Um, just wrapping up things for clients tomorrow, just putting up a new tackle box together. And I look down at the live scope, and there's a giant staring at <laughs> this. The good old shock and awe. Focus, my girl. There we go. The shock and off and frostbite. 60 size, 60 size tantrum. The night bite has been insane. This is the third night in a row that we've I've been a part of and we've just been crushing fish at night. It's 11 o'clock. There's more fish coming. This is the first 30 incher in the ice castle, and I'm so pumped. I got it. Nobody here to witness it. So I gotta video it, I gotta put it out as some kind of little thing, but 30 and a quarter, look how big this girl is. I caught it on the True Grit, the True Grit, the Vanta Black series, using the diesel reel, all frostbite, everything frostbite on that one. Okay, look at this fish. I can't even get her all in frame. That is the first of many, I hope, 30 inches. 
<laughs> in the castle. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Look at her big grandpa lips. Just a big gutsito on her. Long tail. Beautiful fish. I'm going to put this girl back in the water. Let her go. 30 and a half, or 30 and a quarter at 11 o'clock at night. Everybody goes home, and I understand nobody, not everybody has the means to do this. But, and as you hear, she just kicked off and she's gone straight down to the bottom. That is unbelievable. This brings up my point as to why these ice castles are more than just glitz and glam. This is, I just love it, I can watch, hang on, let's see, look, you can see her swimming away, there she goes, she's gone right on the bottom, she's swimming away, which is always the best thing to see, but anyways, getting back to this, the ice castle's not just glitz and glam, I mean, what have we been seeing from the last couple years, being out here every day and every night, is, I think we're almost catching more fish at night more bigger fish anyways. They're a little bit more docile. You catch one out of every 20, but you're marking so many of them and they're suspended and they're just like, there's another one right there. I've gone up and down, up and down with about 20 to 30 fish. There's one on the dead stick now, but that's the second fish. I caught a 27 about an hour and a half ago. And now that 30 and a quarter. The ice castle is broken in officially. The first 30, the quest. Okay, good morning. We are now the next morning um, after we just put that 30 and a quarter back. Um, I've got the head cam on because we've got a bigger one in the f in the fridge, I call it, um, with the lip grips on. Just absolutely, absolutely hammered the meathead jig on the drench. Um, I was just sitting there messing around with a fish on the rattle bait and I looked and I seen this faint mark and I'm like well this one ain't going so I'm gonna switch and uh, went and grabbed the, the drench and that's all it takes right there the little meathead jig that right there is my favorite 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 jig that right there if you have live minnows buy these meathead jigs and put a livey on this. I'm telling you, these tungsten jigs, like look at the teeth marks on this thing. There has been so many big fish. But let's get to this big fish. We're gonna... So yeah, I'll show you her. I'll pull her up. Let's look. Look how big this fish is. Like, you know when their tail flops like this? They're big. So I'm thinking this is probably 30, 30 inches. 30 and a half. Hopefully maybe... Th it could like the facial features on her are immaculate. Like look at her face. So you see like when they get that curved beak and the big cheeks and all that and then the gap from the tail. The gap from the tail back to here from this back fin to this tail. If there's over six inches you know it's 30 inches. It's just it's just everything that I've learned with walleye. It's something else. But let's get her on the bump. Got her here. Nose flush, pushed against. And we have pretty good 31 inch fish. And she is ready to go. One more look at this girl. And we're gonna get her home. This is such a big fish. So a 30 and a quarter and a 31. And in about eight hour period in the, in the ice castle, so. Not, not hating that. Let's, okay, easy babe, easy babe. I know you sense it, I know you sense it. That's okay. And we're gonna watch her kick away. Look at her go. There she goes, see you later my girl. Let's see if we can see her go on live scope and we can. Straight down to the bottom. Good girl, good yeah. girl, okay. Well, safe to say, the ice castle is in a good spot. <laughs> don't sleep on the night bite, like I said, and don't sleep on the morning bite either. I got, I don't know, in 12 hours, I 30 and a quarter and 30 and a half, or 31. 
And here comes another one. So I'm gonna get going and maybe I should keep it's here. I don't know what else you need. It's you can go outside and have fun too, or you can sit in comfort and do it too. There's two ways of doing it and it's either is there's none that's better than the other. It's great. See you later.